So we're joining this game in progress. We got we got Jonathan on the left and Will on the right. Jonathan uh, with a Crane Seeker Vare deck, <clears throat> which uh, I believe is doing well in the Discord World Cup, I think. I was watching a game a couple of days ago. It was, I think, France versus Philippines, and uh, the French Crane player beat the, the Filipino Scorpion player. Anyway, Seeker of Air was his role, and then across from him is Will. Will usually playing Phoenix. This time he's playing uh, Unicorn, Keeper of Fire. Of course, Keeper of Fire, Unicorn, known for the brutal Talisman of the Sun uh, feast, of, feast or Famine combo. And I do believe we're in the, in the middle of turn one still. Uh, Jonathan defending a, a water military conflict against Frostbitten Crossing with the Imperial Palace. Will did uh, covert the Brass Samurai, looks like, when he attacked with all his guys. Uh, Jonathan dropping in a Steward of Law. That usually is a prelude to playing First Shame, bowing something. However, I don't think there's a lot of very good uh, First Shame targets on Will's side. The Border Rider, of course, can just untap after it gets exhausted. I think the, the military is, what, four? Four to one right now? Whether or not Will actually breaks this province, still good for him, because he gets to use Shinatome and Kamen, but looks like he's charging out Moto Nergui. Uh, not the best in this board, because it's not going to send home the Steward of Law. Steward of Law has zero glory versus uh, at least two of Will's characters having one glory. But we're going to see assassination on the border rider, most definitely. That's going to bring the total back to four from six. Will's going to need an additional three points to break this province. Seen a bonsai in his hand. Looks like he's going to fire it off. Just has to be careful about uh, any potential for shame response by Jonathan. I mean, even if he doesn't have it in his hand, this is a great bluff. Just the mere existence of a character like that on, uh, on Jonathan's side of the board. means that Will can't uh, necessarily uh, just play any pumps. So he, uh, he's going to choose to split up the force boost this time, which is a good plan. It's going to force Jonathan... So this way, if Jonathan does have the force shame, it doesn't, he's not going to uh, eliminate the whole, uh, the whole bonsai pump, just two of it. So you did Jonathan do a bonsai as well? Uh, no. Jonathan did a assassinate on the border rider. Oh, is Nergui not in the fight? Nergui is in play. Yeah, sorry. Uh, this is Travis. I've just been trying to tweak a bunch of the things. Get everything caught up here. Yeah, I don't think John has the, has the force shame. He's just going to have to let this happen. Yeah, if he had the force shame, he, he, could, at least, uh, he could at least prevent the break, but... This is going to let Will fire off the Hitsumori Toride uh, Stronghold, which is going to give him an extra military attack uh, because he won the conflict with more characters in the conflict than Jonathan. So huge turn, uh, first conflict for William, breaking the, <coughs> breaking the Imperial Palace. And now he's going to get two more conflicts. Remember, he's got the Shinatomi and Kamen to uh, untap his Motor no Gui and go in for another attack. And with that water conflict win, too, he got to bow the Brash Samurai with no fate yeah. on it. Yeah. He's looking like he's in a pretty good spot. Yeah, g generally a bad idea to buy characters with no fate on them if you're going second, because it just makes for a very easy um, 
very easy water ring bow. Now, of course, Jonathan didn't realize that Will was playing, was going to play Hurma Skirmisher and prevent him from defending. Right. But it is what it is. He's going for another military conflict void here. Yeah. Reveals Rally to the Cause. Uh, switching it, switching it to political. So that's going to be two on Will's side versus versus uh, zero. But uh, Jonathan remembering the crane box, yep. bowing, uh, bowing their gui. Looks like he has another conflict character in his hand, Will. Yeah, I'm guessing uh, it's probably a wayfinder. No, it's, it's an assassination, I think, actually. No, he has a 1-1. One, one oh, no, you're right, yeah. Uh, no, it's a... Uh, what is that? It's a goblin sneak, I think? No, because goblin sneak's... A one, one, zero, one, dash, right? one dash. One dash, you're right. Uh, you said Wayfinder, right? Ayuchi Wayfinder? It is, but I don't, I don't know if that looks like a Wayfinder. Oh, it might be a Nuzumi Nizu, oh, Infiltrator. It's, it's a Nuzumi Infiltrator. Because he's it playing the Crab Splash. So that's the card that, if you want to bring that up, it's a card that, um, when you play it into a conflict, it either increases or decreases the the attack province by one strength. So that effectively puts him at two strength. If Will has a... An ornate fin, which I guess he didn't. Right, yeah. But yeah, he resolves the void ring, gets the fade off the the steward of law. Doesn't break, but uh, Will does have one more conflict, but I don't think he's going to have anything to. Uh, well, he doesn't have any more characters in his with. hand, I don't think. And it would need to be a political conflict. Yeah. But the good news is Will uh, has at least denied. But, yeah, and he's going to be able to keep oh, Nergui nice. around. Yeah, Nergui's there, and then. Uh, now that he has another oh. copy of Nergui in his, in his province. Oh, Calling in favors. Nice. That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I was going to say, because he had another copy of Nergui that just would let him... Uh, It'd be pretty good value. ...dupe it, yeah. Still, I mean, the big... The big victory for Will here was that he got to deny the um, the Imperial Flavor going to Jonathan. And him having the Imperial Flavor plus a Kikita Yoshi in the province row. Yeah. yeah. It been he great. would just start running away with drawing cards. Crane's one of those uh, clans that every time I see a player play it, like it just seems like a very strong control deck. But uh, I just never, I can never get it to work. Wow, super expensive flop for Jonathan. Not, not what he was hoping for, I don't think. Yeah. I, I mean, he's he, got some fate to spend, so. Yeah, I mean, I would just go, I would just go with uh, playing, playing Hitaru, I guess. But no, he goes for the Yoshi. I guess this way, with when you play Yoshi, what, what you can do now is uh, you can dupe Yoshi, and that gives you two fresh... Uh, Right. Two fresh cards. Two fresh rows. Yeah. Next or turn. Promises. Yeah. And I mean, there's a good... Sh well, Will doesn't have a lot of money, so he probably is only going to go for one character here, so... Yeah. I mean, he's like... He's going to pass for sure. First. You don't want to play with the Master of the Ways without any fate on it. Yeah, Will's just going to pass... And I don't think Jonathan wants to play Asami just yet. Well, one of the things to note about the Keeper of Fire Hitsumori Turide is that um, if you pressure their honor, you don't even have to go for a Dishonor victory, but if you pressure their honor uh, consistently, it makes it really hard for them to play stuff like uh, Unleash the Jin, yeah. uh, Captive Audience. Like They have so many honor bleed effects in their deck between the Bonsais and the Unleash the Jins and all that. That if you can if you can just keep going for air ring if you uh, if you try to underbid them a couple of times you can bring them to like six honor or less it becomes really hard for them to play all their backbreaking events. That's true. Yeah, I've been playing the, a, a similar unicorn deck for the last couple, last week and a half, and uh, you do run into a problem towards the end of the game where you might not have the honor you need to pull off your last trick. Yeah, Unicorn's one of those decks, I think. It's it's very combo -y in the sense that when when you can assemble all the pieces together and your opponent gives you the time to do so, like, you can steamroll your opponent very quickly. But there's there's just turns where, like, look at this turn, right? He Will, Will broke a province, and he denied the Imperial favor to Jonathan. But um, yeah, with that well, with that one calling in favors play to grab that reprieve off Modo Nergui, he's... he's um, 
he slowed the tempo of Will's attack quite a bit. It may allow him enough time to stabilize here. So he's going to go for the Shinatome encampment. Political conflict. Is that Endless Plains? It is Endless Plains. Oh, 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 no. <laughs> anyway, all that stuff I was about to say, just <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Wow. So, yeah, not a lot of people are playing Endless Plains these yeah. days. But I mean, we, that, that it's, creates a perfect uh, yeah. environment to to play it, I guess, because you just you end up with stuff like that, right? Right. So, yeah, after after it's uh, declared, you can break the province to get rid of the a character. The, the conflict is still happening, though. So if Jonathan has another character, he can still attempt to win the ring. Um, if not, actually, Will wins. No, he doesn't win this he doesn't conflict. Win, he has sorry. no participating character. He has a favor. He doesn't have a participating character. Never mind. It's also he has political favor. Oh, it is uh, a political comic. Sorry. Yeah. I saw him grab on the military side. Yeah, I don't think Jonathan has any follow-up, so that's... Uh, Just bounces speaking back. Speaking of tempo swings, it's a huge swing back now. So I see a, a, uh, I see a Wayfinder. I see a Cloud the Mind, which... Uh, Probably was being reserved for Yoshi, but I don't think he's doing more. I mean, it might have been tempting to put the Wayfinder into play to take that conflict. Why would you want to take that conflict? Because it was a fire, -er, so you would have got your keeper and a dollar back for success for successfully defending. Yeah, but will I think will would rather use the Wayfinder to attack with, right? Because he can potentially get multi three conflicts this turn. It's a shameful display that just got revealed on Jonathan's side. Uh. Yeah, I guess, I guess he can still win the fire ring in one of his attacks. Just the the resource would have been tempting. Oh, also he would have got the monk as well. But but now he can just attack fire. Yeah, he can attack fire. So that's how he gets yeah. the third character in play. But yeah. I, I think... Uh, yeah, I think I might have done it. Will's debating what he's going to do here. I would go for, I think I would go for a, just a military attack on maybe shameful display. <clears throat> you have no, you have no uh, glory on your motor and your glee. The most that's going to happen is that he gets to honor his brash samurai. I guess, I guess if you attack with the shameful oh. display, then uh, you would allow Jonathan to get all the way up to honored status with that uh, with that guy. Yeah, probably doesn't. He's not looking to do that. Or what am I saying? Just attack the rally they cause. <laughs> attack the rally they cause. If, uh, if Jonathan defends with the uh, yeah, if, if Jonathan defends with the brass samurai, you can just send it home. The problem is it gets honored as his first action, then he sends it home, and then Jonathan will just attack back. But he might be fine with that, just doing that to get the trade, because then you're up two province breaks. Right. It's a lot of deliberation here. I think Tobin Lopez on the Art of Warcast podcast said it best that the unicorn is like a puzzle. <clears throat> well, the other it's thing a, it's a it's a puzzle game that you have to figure out right how to how to make the the correct moves in the correct order. The other thing that I found a lot with the unicorn is it, it's pretty unforgiving. Yeah. You have to play pretty perfect uh, to pull out a win against a, a good opponent. Jonathan definitely is a good opponent. This is not his primary clan, however. He usually plays Lion. Um, but the the Seeker of Air Crane Splash Scorpion is a very good control build. Trying to decide if he's going to defend here. It looks, looks like, like he, he will. He and he, defend. Yeah. Yep. And he, he honors his Brass Samurai with his ability, bringing him up to two versus three, I think. There is a there is an assassinate sitting in Jonathan's hand. Um, I don't think he wants to use it on a Yuchi Wayfinder though. Now he does have Wave the Crane, so he can actually bring himself up to four if he wants to in this in this conflict. Yeah. 
Think about think about Will's stack though. It's got a lot of force pumps, right? A lot of military force pumps. So I, if you're if if Will is not willing to commit first, I might just let him win this. I mean, yes, he does get another conflict uh, if he sacrifices one of his cavalry guys, but at least he's spending multiple conflicts to try to break the same province. I don't know. I feel I, it almost seems like if Will does anything that's like sorry not Will if Jonathan tries to do anything then Will will just outstrip him right. and that being said he actually Jonathan has quite a few cards in his hand I think he has what like 10 cards in his hand versus Will's 8 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 I see a steward of law I see another uh, calling in favors this is bring the steward in Oh, I guess we missed it, but it looked like uh, Will sent the uh, used Moto Negui to send him home. Right. Yeah. I, it just seemed like it. that's what happened. No, that's, it makes sense. Or maybe not, because he still he has a two. Yeah, he still has a two there. Yeah, our table audio is. The table mic's not working right now? No. Okay. Five to three now. Fine, Katana. It's going to bring him to five if our math is right. No, so no. you did send okay, him the brass did, hammer. You're right. Okay, cool. So three to five, still no break. Will can play a bonsai perhaps on on Mer Moto Negui. But again, Will, Will just has to be, he's just probably afraid of that. He's afraid of that force shame. I think he's just gonna let it happen. I guess. Looks like it. I guess he just put that on to indicate that he's used the ability. Yeah. Uh, I okay. So he chooses to dishonor the brass samurai with the fire ring, brings in his keeper, and does a sacrifice to. Um, I don't think he's allowed to dishonor the brass samurai. You're right. He is not. Yeah. Because he didn't send the he didn't send the steward law home. So once uh, Travis goes in and informs him them of that fact, then it looks like Will's probably going to honor the. Well, no, he can't even honor the keeper initiate. Right. Yeah. Now let's see if Travis catches that too. Okay. Uh, are they? So you honor Nagui instead. Honor Nagui. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Jonathan has some options here. Sees what he wants to force. Uh, Will to do. Will does still have a three fate. He doesn't really have any targets for his cavalry reserve that he has in his hand. So I, I doubt that that's going to be a factor here. Actually, it's going to be a while before that cavalry reserve comes online, the way it's been going. Yeah, it's, it's usually not the kind of card. Well, it's just because he hasn't really flipped over. Because th th what he's flipped over, what? He's got a Border Rider and a Moto Negri in his discard pile. Yeah, and he can't bring the Moto Negri yeah. back even for another turn. Uh, so declares uh, political with the Brass Samurai water on Manicured Garden. Will's looking like he's going to try to decide here if he's going to defend. Well, speaking of powering up your cavalry reserves, maybe you just let him have it. <laughs> maybe oh, sorry, I mean, you can you can discard it as well. I mean, then you don't have to. Oh, here's a oh, you mean in terms cream. of charging it up this turn? Yeah. So I mean, you're not wrong because the border rider then will get yeah. you third conflict for you. 
card that makes people feel bad. So yeah, wave, wave the crane, ornate fan, up to five. Yes, yeah, five. I can't. Do, do you know if Will defended with the? No, he didn't. I don't think he defended. Okay. So yeah, he breaks, and then he's going to use the water ring to ready Steward of Law. Will discards the card. Now, Will loses an honor for undefended conflict. Yeah. So, I don't know. Do you think he would have? You think he would have discarded that card? Because, so I, there's a couple of things, right? Now, he Will doesn't have a Shigenja, so um, he can't really play Force of the River right, right. now. He could have a Wayfinder's hand, but I don't know if you'd want to play a Force of the River on a Wayfinder. Um, something that's easily assassinatable. But I, I don't know. Do, would you generally be uh, filling up a Unicorn player's graveyard by discarding cards when they're broken or what? So it depends on what you think. Yeah. He could just as likely have a charge. Right. And that's a much more cost-effective way. Like, he doesn't have the best targets in his discard for Calvary Reserves. But Will's already used one charge, and I, we haven't seen a Force of the River or a uh, Cavalry Reserves from Will yet. That's the only way, it, the uh, only sure. thing I would think of. But yeah, you're right. Here's a, uh, a second military poke. I think Will might be looking to play uh, Unleash the Jin here, perhaps. Um, well, he does have maybe. a Bonsai. So can you, can, if you play, uh, can you play Unleash Jin first, then Bonsai? Or he's gonna, it looks like he's going to assassinate. Yeah. Uh, no, so once you set any modifiers before or after you play the Unleash the Jin, don't matter. Right. So okay. whether it's attachments, whether it's uh, other boosts, um, the only thing that Unleash the Jin doesn't change is it won't uh, replace your dash strength. Um, the only thing that really uh, impacts it, other than the number of characters on both sides, is the favor. I so see. if you have the military favor and an equal number of characters, that plus one will be the defining, can, can be the deciding factor. So he does choose to go with the cavalry reserves, nice. uh, bringing in five strength worth. Looks like our other game ended already. Oh, yeah. So another uh, one thing I just want to point out. Today we had a very slow turnout. Um, some of the players that play L5R in Toronto also happen to play Netrunner too, and I know there's a huge uh, yeah. there's a huge Netrunner tournament, which uh, my optimistic self is going to attribute to the lower view count for today's event. Uh, I know a lot of our friends that also watch VTTV for our L5R content may also watch Netrunner. I know yeah. uh, some of the people on the Art of War cast are huge Netrunner fans as well. Um, yeah, so that, I believe they're in they're in the top eight right now of the Netrunner World Championships, the final one of all time. Uh, yeah, they're probably just getting to the top yeah. eight. I don't I don't know. They were in the top sixteen. They may still be like a top twelve. But we're still doing three rounds today, right? Uh, just yeah, well, two rounds. What do you guys want to do? We we'll do three. Right. Yeah, we'll do three rounds. Uh, might as well get as yeah. much. After, yeah. Afterward, we might have something else for you guys. This is a new game that Travis has got, really gotten into. Well, we'll see. I bought some starters. Yeah, well. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that in the next round. We're going to get a few more things ironed out here yeah. between the games. I want mine too, but that's just me. Do you do? Oh, we'll, we'll talk about it during yeah, the break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to interrupt. Anyway, back to the game, meanwhile. Um, <clears throat> so that province did end up getting broken by uh, Will with the, with the cavalry reserves. Oh, so did he invest something else in it? Uh, well, he, pl he played Border Rider and. Yeah, what else did he play? I don't know. Uh, I guess maybe he didn't, he, he didn't defend. That's why he's un uh, not exhausted right now. Oh, that move would make sense. If he assassinated the guy, then yeah. it makes sense he wouldn't defend. Oh, speaking and of assassination. Yeah. So, what was it, Feast or Famine? Rally to the cause? Oh, that he revealed? Yeah. Feast yeah. Hey, it's the best time to reveal it when you got no guys of fate on them. Oh, you, uh, you have that backwards. I don't know if Travis mentioned this, but we he uh, 
We have a new uh, version of the app right now. It's got a lot more no. functionality, it's but just we're still change. working out some kinks still. Yeah, the, the challenge reset is not working the way yeah. I expect it will. Here we go. Yeah, I understand you've uh, you've added some functionality uh, for X Wing two point as well. Yeah, well, just like and some some other things like so, allowing oh. us to you know have cards coming in from both sides. And you you can also set the duration, right? Yeah, so I can pause card. them so they don't yeah. go away. So that's cool. It's going to give us a lot more flexibility in terms of how we do things. Yeah, always a work in progress. I'm always impressed by the work. But Travis uh, does the other thing is, I've I've been cleaning up the code because I'm hoping to make this one publicly available. Uh, you, gave, you gave a version to uh, to Andre, right? I did give a version to Andre, yeah. but he still used uh, Dodge Pongs instead of that one. Okay, because I saw I saw him live streaming. Because I think I gave, I ended up getting it to him a little later in the week. Uh, yeah, so there's a, a few things to tweak, and there's also, um, I'm not going to have any kind of licensed stuff in the package that I distribute, so right. you'll have to, you know, grab logos and things, and there'll be instructions on how you would manage that, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, I'm focused on getting the uh, X-Wing 2.0 functionality up before I go back to worrying about the documentation and uh, other things so I can release Anyway, going back to the game, it looks like uh, Will did defend with the border rider. Yeah, I think and, he had uh, to. I don't off. think he could afford yeah. to go behind and having to being on focus the stronghold on already, right? Yeah. yeah. So he, he's managed to keep it at parity, though. And Jonathan's board has cleared out. So the the Jonathan temple, does have the resources, though. I mean, yeah, less honor, but does have some fate to invest. He's denied. He's denied Jonathan the the favor again, though. Looks like it anyway. Yeah, favor stayed the same. Uh, they both had two provinces and uh, no ready characters. Shinjo Altern Sarnai. Oh, this I, is a very different build of unicorn than what I'm used to. Yeah, I mean, it's. I think it's <laughs> tough to play. If you're doing Unleash the Jin, you're doing some of the kind of swarmy unicorn stuff. Yeah. It's tough to have expensive characters. You end up with slots like this that are problematic. Yeah, also Shinjo's ability, it's... I mean, it's generally not impactful just because your opponent gets to choose which character to sacrifice. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people who are investing in small numbers of characters still. Yeah. Like, that, it can have a big impact. N the, uh, the unicorn builds I've seen, and the ones that I'm familiar with are the one, is I think some variation of the one that Mind's Desire was working on. Yeah. Which uh, the only expensive character in that deck was the Minami Kazu regulars. I mean, there's a couple four cost in there. It yeah. has uh, the ones that I cannot remember the name, Shanai with the covert four cost. Ayuchi Shihai. Yeah, and... Um, the pride, the forecast pride cavalry. Uh, Shinjo Shino. Shino, yeah. I realize that I have, I don't know what it is about L5R, but the card names do not stick in my head like they do the, for the other games. The problem is, so I used to play the old card game, um, the, the old CCG, and it was even worse in the sense that every single character was a, was a proper noun, right? Yeah. There wasn't anything like Border Rider. So Will Patch is in Pleasure of the Fate, so. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, there's nothing like a Doji Whisper or a Porter Rider. Right. Something that would imply, like, maybe the functionality of the card. It was always family name, given name, family name, given mm -hmm. name. Even for generic characters. So it, it, it was uh, really hard to keep track. And then the other thing is, like, every... There's, like, three, three major families in every clan, at right. least. And then each character is some, like, Shinjo... Like, in the case of Unicorns, either Shinjo or Ayuchi or... Yeah. What's the other one? Utaku, I think it is. Um, so yeah, it, 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 unless you you're very familiar with the lore, well, they have or you Moto, play the right? Game. Oh yeah, Moto too. I guess at least three. There's there's obviously going to be more than that, but yeah. But uh, anyway, so it unless you're very familiar with the 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 game itself, like you you familiarize familiarize yourself with all the cards, or 
you're really into the lore, then I think it, it can become confusing, especially to someone who's just started playing. That's fair. My biggest worry is that I'm not going to pronounce anything correctly. Well, uh, yeah, I have to... Doing commentary, you have to kind of give up and realize that it's going to be the case that you're not going to pronounce some things right. <clears throat> So I'm not sure who's to act here. I really am hoping we can get the table audio well, back well, up. Will is the uh, first between. player right now, so he's going to he's gonna have to declare the first conflict. Oh, yeah. I think, I think you just go for, um, maybe you attack just with Nergui here. I think so. Because you can send home you can send home the Doji Challenger. You can send I, home I, you can send home anyone. Right, but like I mean, if it's a military challenge then uh, like I'm not sure what I, I think the only if Jonathan was gonna right. defend the only one he probably would I mean, the, the you want the two fate off of the air yeah. ring here. So he knows one of the provinces, it's a shameful display. Let me let's see if he's gonna take yeah, he's gonna go for the one he doesn't know. Ooh, Magistrate Station. That's good. That's a good one to go after. Like, that's a good one to find. I really like Magistrate Station, but it feels like a lot of like like a lot of other crane cards. You have to do a little bit work, a little right. bit of work for it to work, like to be good. Just like stuff like Yoshi, Doji Hitaru. It never seems like it can be good on its face. Like, even if you're looking at the board, Kikita Asami, for example, right? You need to have more political strength than your opponent in a conflict in order yeah. to use her ability. So anyway, way of the crane coming down. Uh, so he's got the challenger defending. Yeah. So I'm assuming he honored the challenger? He, he didn't did. put a status token on anything. Oh. Right? No. Uh, he might have just forgot to do it. Anyway. Uh, honorary table judge Sungo is going to go over there and ask. Okay, no, they're well. It's pointing out now. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> when someone walks over, oh no, I did something wrong. <laughs> oh, all you had to do is walk over. We <laughs> we <laughs> assess the situation. What did we miss? Well, Sungo has the the, t the reputation of being the table judge. He's he's a disembodied hands that appear on camera all the time. Oh, he's gonna, gonna get broken. Oh. And I, I don't know that there's really anything he can do about it. Like, oh, so I guess he didn't defend oh, and just oh. he didn't defend and just weigh the crane. Uh, Wait, what? Hold on a second. Uh, can you bring up Shinjo Alton Sarnai's ability? I don't think he gets to choose. Yeah, it's his choice. Yeah, this is why you don't use full art cards if you don't. Right? The yeah. Opponent chooses. Yeah, opponent chooses. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Will. Will. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure Jonathan wouldn't wouldn't have chosen the the challenger if uh, if he yeah if he had his choice he wouldn't have chosen the challenger. So sacrifices Nergui to power up three day, mm -hmm. letting him declare an extra military conflict this round. So it was an undefended conflict because he did lose an honor. Yeah, I think he, he did it. He took the honor off. So now we're on the stronghold. Uh, I believe for Seeker of Air, it's going to be entrenched position. Because if we know... Do you know what kind of province the Magister Station is? Fire. It's a fire province? Yeah. Okay, Hence so it's, the honor. it's probably entrenched position in the stronghold then. Mm. Oh no, I see rally already. There. Yeah. Oh, it, um, is, it is rally. No, no, no. I already see oh, rally. Okay. No. So the big thing here is and we know this is uh, we know this is shameful display right here. Oh, is it wayfinder? Yeah. yeah. It? The big yeah. thing here is if Will had a um, 
rebuild. It would be pretty for the huge. Shinotome. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the reason why you play crab in uh, crab slash and unicorn. But doesn't bleed us. That's another way of the crane. So I wonder if uh, John's even going to go for a. Is he even going to go for a conflict here? Well, this time he. So he is. He's probably going to use it to ready the Joji Challenger. He's going to reveal a pilgrimage. So he's not going to use it to ready the Challenger. Yeah. Well, I mean, he, I guess he's got a lot of political strength right now. No, sorry, I meant he was gonna. He's gonna use the water ring to ready his challenge. No, I know, but pilgrimage makes that a little trickier. Yeah, try to. Uh, that being said, I mean Jonathan has five strength, so he just needs one more. Yeah, he just needs to play an ornate fan or something. Assuming Will doesn't defend, because if Will does defend, he will have at least three strength between the favor and his uh, outrider. I also see uh, invocation of Ash. I think is in uh, Will's yeah. hand. Well, maybe deciding whether... Uh, or a captive audience might be... Uh, yeah. Wait to see... Like, maybe I wait. you wait to see if... Uh, so users could ask me to steal a fate, or steal an honor. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, he's going to wait. Maybe he's going to wait to see if he buffs. And now I think if you captive audience now... Because you can always move the Shinjo Outrider into the conflict with its ability. You can. Yeah. He's also got a favorable ground. He's also yeah. got some conflict characters in hand. Yep. Yeah, I think I would play the captive audience here, I think. Oh, here's a talisman. Oh, that's cheeky. Man, it's only okay. Uh, moving into the Feaster family? Except uh, we know that Jonathan has calling in favors, because here it's yeah. going to come right now. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Will, I mean, Will still has, has <coughs> excuse me. Will still has access to um, the captive audience. I would go for it. Now, as I like to remind people, uh, whenever we see a calling in favors getting played on a talisman of the sun, uh, you cannot. Uh, this means that you can't. Um, Will can't play another copy of Talisman of the Sun as long as the other Talisman of the Sun right. that is owned by him is still in play because it's a unique attachment. Yeah. You can't play one if you have one in play that you control and, or that you own. Yeah. And if somehow Jonathan was cheating by having a Talisman of the Sun in his Seeker of Air deck, yeah. uh, he couldn't play a, another copy of it either. Because he, control, yeah. he controls one. Because he controls a copy of Talisman of the Sun. Man, I would like to see that take place. <laughs> Yeah, then just use Netrunner influence rules. Mm -hmm. Splash whatever. Ooh, wow. You guys decided to do the Gin of Fire? Uh, I, I, no, no. I think the Gin would be good. Because if you prevent him, like, with the well, Pilgrimage, you're not going to win. He's not going to be able to use the ring. That costs you four honor. Because he's going he's gonna to win a un... un uh, I know, but you think you can win right... Okay, uh, sure. No, you can't. Because he yeah. he's short of fate. Oh, short of fate for the uh, for the last cal for another cavalry for the cavalry oh. reserves. Hmm. Nothing. Nothing. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I, I personally, I would. This is this would have been a perfect time to play captive audience. So yeah, it's gonna. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so Sango just asked if he already used Sami's ability. He did. He did. So does he have the military buffs he needs here? He might. Actually, this this puts Jonathan in a good position now. I mean, if he doesn't die right now. But we were talking at the beginning of this match. That's one of the things you can do to to slow down the cow. The sorry, yeah. the the uh, unicorn yeah, machine. But he has entrenched position, right? So yeah. No, I meant that now that Will's sitting on four honor. I think Jonathan can just. Um, Pressure air next turn. He can. Draw low. And Those with the Sami in play as well. Yeah. I mean, it's going to take away access to Will's tricks, but I think yeah. he has enough in hand 
uh, so to between entrenched position and uh, so he needs what thirteen? Yeah. No, sorry, he needs uh, twelve. Yeah. I don't think he has it, does he? Not now. No, next turn. Yeah, but next turn, Jonathan's going to have char- more characters on the board. Oh, and, and we, oh, I keep forgetting he has the... Oh, uh, don't forget, he has the talisman, I too. know, I was just yeah, going to yeah. say that. Well, he's not going to have the talisman next turn. No, that's true. Unless unless Will plays another reprieve. <laughs> Jonathan has another <laughs> calling favors. I think it's safe to say that's not going to happen. Oh, never mind. I forgot about the yurt. He could he could get access to calorie reserves this turn. Oh yeah, man. How did I forget but about the yurt? But he's not going to because of the. Well, I mean, we'll see if he remembers the talisman. It's not an entrenched position. It's a manicured. Actually, sorry, that made complete sense. I'm a moron because the, he's seeker of error. So he would have two. Oh, right. He would. I mean, you don't have to, but you sure. would have to. Uh, you would have two air provinces in your in your row. Uh, well, then that makes things a lot easier, I think. As long as uh, Jonathan's not sitting on a voice of honor, then uh, he just cap. He just. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to do it when he, when he played it earlier this match. Damn. Damn. Damn, bro. <laughs> so he uses gear to get some more fate, but, you know, there's still the challenge. You're still going to get moved over to the other province. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, because of the it comes face up after right, the Right, right, nice. Now you do this. Yeah, you can you come back. All day. Yeah, but. Oh, wait. Do you but, do it? But now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess Will forgot about. Sorry, is this. This is only his second conflict, right? He's got yeah, one. Yeah, he has one conflict. He's got a political conflict. Oh, he does, yes. right? So he can bring back the border rider and Alter Sarne in the next conflict. Oh, that's cute. Actually, you know what he's going to do here? He's <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what he's going to do is when Jonathan moves him to the shameful display, he's going to swap. Uh, I think master the waves for Shinjo, Alter Sarne. I would do that. Yeah, I would do that too. Yeah, he was smart. Actually, no. Uh, he has a Shinotomi account. I mean, he can also just favorable ground someone out of the conflict. That's true. Mm-hmm. I mean, he still has a. In that case, he probably he still has a fun katana in hand. So I would, I would just uh, yeah, kick someone out. The, pro- the only problem is that now um, Will's last conflict has to be a political. Although he has, the, he has, he ha- he has the captive audience in his hand, too, doesn't well, he? He has, the he has the encampment, so Alter Sarnay is going to be able to participate in the last one. Yeah. Well, well I was going to say, he has a captive audience, too, so he... Uh, That's true. He's got, his last he conflict He has many, many tools. Sorry. I guess he's a lot more than uh, two now. Okay. You can out. Yeah, I think I think Jonathan, if if Jonathan didn't have the voice of honor for the like if he so. if he had a voice of honor that I mean he would have fired that off against cavalry reserves, but no, he wouldn't have. He was okay with the cavalry reserves. This, this cavalry reserves, I think, is what's gonna win him the game, though. He's between the Shinotome and Kamen border rider, yeah, and the master. That's gonna get him a. So what is he doing right now? Uh, I would... He's moving that guy home. Okay. I, I, I actually, I would have... Uh, that no, that's fine. No, I would probably have brought the Outrider home and then switched Alter Sana in and then used my Fine Katana. Y- you know what, though? Oh, you don't I, even need no, I understand why he didn't do it because then what Jonathan would do is that he would shameful display dishonoring Alton Sarnai and then honoring something that didn't yeah. matter. No, that's okay. 
uh, he's actually in a weird situation where he should honor. He should do this off the other way. I'm actually so the border raiders coming yeah, back. Yeah, I'm surprised that he did that. Well, so I mean, you got the Ring of Fire, anyways. So yeah. Oh, that's true. I guess it, I guess it didn't really matter because well. <clears throat> Here's another steward of love. I think that's his third steward of love of the game, but he hasn't played any. Uh, sh he hasn't played any for shames yet. So let's see if he drew. If he drew be one. Three to one. Doesn't border have a one glory? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah he sorry. should be three to one. So actually, um, he's not breaking anymore. No. It doesn't matter. He doesn't need to break. He doesn't need to break. Yeah, I know. He doesn't need to break because he just goes goes to the province. Again. He just wants to win so he can get the fire trigger. Well, he's winning. No, I know. He's just not breaking. Yeah. Yeah. Will, Will doesn't need to do anything. He should just... Uh, oh, no. Wants to go further. <laughs> well, what, yeah, that's free roll. I mean, if he's going to... He's going to untap right. that guy anyway, so... It's free roll only if he doesn't get assassinated. Yeah. I don't see an assassin in his hand, though. Okay. I do see Bonsai in Jonathan's hand. It doesn't matter now. Oh, you do. Yeah. I mean, Bonsai won't, won't win him the conflict. Yeah, I think Will has all the tools he needs to wrap it up this turn. He's got a, he's got a, his own bonsai. He's got uh, he's got his own bonsai. He's got the captive audience. It's I I will say though, just to uh, just to um, oh. I guess moderate and things a, a bit. Yeah, I, just to moderate things a bit. I mean. We're seeing this play where, yes, he just stands his guy with the uh, encampment and then goes after I mean, the Canada was incredibly lucky. But he didn't lucky. know he was going to have the encampment at the beginning of this turn because he had the yurt there, right? He didn't yeah. know what he was going to replace it with. So I think this, this winning line only emerged mid-round. Well, so he still had the a katana, yeah. the, uh, the uh, invocation, and a bonsai for the last conflict. I see. So the border rider theoretically could have been enough on his own. Okay. All right, so political yeah. for now. Here we go. All in political. I mean, I don't even know. I well, I feel the like first I, I don't thing, even think he has to change it. Well, no, no, to no, matter. No, no, no. The first thing Jonathan should do is use Shizuka Toshi. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm not sure why he. Okay. Uh, wait. Now, Captain Audience. I think John, well. Yeah, they should not be uh, just rushing through here, but. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. yeah. It's a good game. Guess that. Inevitable storm, swarm of uh, unicorn takes it. I, well, I don't think it was inevitable. No, like, no, sorry. Like we said, no, inevitable. Once the encampment came out, oh sure, like yeah, yeah. like okay, I, it got to the point where we got to that conflict. There was nothing that was going to be able to stop that. that I'll also time. say that uh, in addition to that, at the very beginning of the game, when Will uh, blew up the Imperial Palace, yeah, and then and then fought, that was followed up by endless plays on Yoshi. Yeah, that, that set the foundation for all this to happen. I, I, I think it was...